Hello and welcome to another edition of another book review. This week I'll be reviewing Kevin Wilson's novel Nothing to See Here, uh, which I listened to on audiobook. I'll talk very briefly about the author before going into a spoiler-free overview of the plot. I'll talk about what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off with what I'll be reading for next time. Uh, Kevin Wilson is a, a novelist. He's written, I think, this is his fourth or fifth novel. This is the first of his stuff that I've read. Uh, he is, I believe, a teacher in Tennessee where this book takes place, where I believe he is from. Uh, this book got a little bit of acclaim uh, when it came out a couple years back. Uh, the plot is something uh, somewhat difficult to describe, but I'll try to do my best uh, without spoiling it. Uh, it can, it uh, focuses on a character whose name is Lillian, who is going through something of a quarter-life crisis. She's kind of drifting through life. Uh, she was someone who showed a lot of promise early on, uh, but then through some machinations uh, was basically dropped. She got kicked out of her private prestigious high school, and since that time has just been working dead-end jobs, living with her mother, and not really going anywhere. The book starts off when one of her old classmates, whose name I believe is Meredith, contacts her with the something of a job opportunity, um, which is to be the, uh, I guess, nanny or governess of two small children. Um, what is unique about the book, and I don't think I'm spoiling it because I believe it's on the cover of the novel, is that these two children spontaneously combust. Uh, they don't actually pass away, they're not actually physically harmed, but they do, uh, when they become upset, uh, light themselves on fire, uh, not from a physical, like, pouring of gasoline on themselves, but internally, like, human torch style, flame on. Uh, they become uh, emulated, I guess is that, that word, um, and they burn everything around them if they're not careful. And so, uh, these are the uh, Meredith's husband's children from his first wife, uh, who has since passed away. Meredith has uh, married this man several years after, so these kids are roughly, I think, like uh, uh, 10, 12 years old, something of that effect. And so the book is really about Lillian coming in and... Um, forming a bond with these these children and helping them um, get through not only the dealing with the death of their their mother but also this situation of them being kind of thrust into this this world this spotlight because Meredith's husband is a I believe he is a senator he may be a congressman but he's a senator uh, and so there's something of a high, high pro profile of the family and so the book is kind of, it's focused on Lillian and, and her stepping into this role as basically a, uh, a, a caregiver for these children. So um, that's what the book is. I thought it was an interesting concept. I think the book is actually really, really funny in parts. Uh, the characters are all Southern, and so they have kind of Southern mannerisms. There's a lot of fun kind of one-off side characters. Not a lot. There's a couple of fun one-off side characters. I thought the writing itself was very funny. Uh, I listened to this on audiobook, and I think that was really, really helpful. I recommend the audiobook to anyone because the, the narrator, whose name unfortunately I don't have, uh, has an accent for all the characters, and I think it makes the dialogue pop a little bit more than it would have otherwise. And so I really enjoyed that. I think uh, Kevin Wilson has an ear for dialogue, and it's really well showcased in this book. As far as some stuff that I maybe liked a little bit less, um, the book, the book's ending, in my opinion, doesn't quite land as perfectly as I want it to. It's a satisfactory ending. I think it's fine. It's one of those endings where it's pretty clear. Uh, it's a fairly predictable ending. I think you can kind of see it coming from quite a mile away. The book isn't uh, super concerned with plot. It, the plot, I think, in this book matters a lot less. There's not really a uh, what's going to happen here. It's a suspenseful thing as much as it is. is really just a situation for these characters to interact with each other and for Lillian to have kind of a, an arc and a growth arc. 
Um, but I did enjoy it. I thought it was funny. It's a relatively quick book. Um, the only other thing I can think of that maybe I didn't like as much, I thought that there were some transitions that were pretty quick, uh, that they, he kind of went from one area to another in some places really quickly. And I, I missed the, the descriptions. And so I think some, some things like that, I think the writing could have been a little, little bit stronger there, but for the most part, it's a pretty breezy read. Uh, it does get into some, some heavy topics as far as people I would recommend to, uh, I liked it. I thought it was really funny. I, there is at one point in the book a mention of suicide, and so I will say that for anybody who is sensitive to that topic. Um, and other than that, it's a fairly. I thought it was a pretty funny novel. Uh, so if you're someone who's interested in something more of a, like I said, I think it's a fairly light novel. This the kind of parts dealing with suicide are pretty brief in the book, but there is a there is a heaviness there, obviously. So it's not. It is taken seriously. It's not taken lightly, which I appreciated. Um, and it's part of a, a character's... Um, it, it felt like a real part of a character's backstory or, or life. And so uh, I did appreciate that, but I realized that for some people that's pretty sensitive. If you're not one of those people and you're looking for something that's a little breezy and a little funny, uh, I think this is a pretty, pretty fun book. Um, so that is uh, nothing to see here. And next time I'm going to be reading The Warehouse by Rob Hart. And until next time, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll leave my Twitter information below. Till next time, bye.